All right, guys. It's pretty much coming to my favorite time of year to throw big weight baits, okay? Uh, basically, my favorite time to throw them is during the post-spawn. When the females are done spawning, they're feeding up, trying to get healthy before they move out to their summer haunts. Um, you know, I throw big weight, weight baits for them. So, you know, big weight baits aren't really a good tournament bait because not every day you're going to catch them and every day uh, doing archer you need to catch a limit of fish so it's great for a kicker bite it's very rare that i will get five bites although i have i've actually got 19 in a day before with this guy the woodrow rat but days like that are far and few between so keep that in mind it's not a bait that i recommend just going down the bank throwing it's a bait that i recommend that if you need a big kicker fish you got a pretty decent limit you're looking for that one game changing bite bust out a wake bait this time of year okay post spawn so anyway the tip that i want to share with you and what i see a lot of guys do wrong myself included uh, my first year few years of trying to throw a weight bait has been very unsuccessful actually i didn't catch anything for a few years with it and my first weight bait was actually a 316 didn't catch anything with it so um wasn't until i was a co-angler and i drew bobby barrett out of the california delta and i saw how he was throwing the weight bait and you know, I figured it out pretty quick why he was getting the bites um, on the weight bait. It was a big ugly thing. Never seen anybody throw something like that. And, um, you know, when he threw it out there, he just crept that thing on top, just barely moving it. Okay. So, not to say you can't catch a fish reeling it fast. I think you can. Um, I've seen guys crank this rat down and get bites underneath the surface before but most of my bites have been personally on that slow crank and the reason being why I think is imagine you're a bass you're a little skinny you just got done with the spawning process you look up and there's your prey piece of steak on his last breath basically a dying fish Remember, a bass is a predator, okay? He's gonna wanna take advantage of an easy meal when one is presented. So he's looking up, there's a rat, barely moving, okay? I'm talking about creeping on the surface. It's an easy meal, they can't resist. So they're gonna go up and have their steak, okay? Believe me on that. If you have a big weight bait, okay, and it doesn't have to be an expensive, fancy one like this Woodrow, uh, I've caught plenty of fish on the Spro BBZ1 six inch floating model, but every one of my bikes have been on a really slow creeping uh, uh, retrieve. So it's a big fish that busted right there. I'm gonna try to catch him in a little bit. But anyway, um, give that a shot guys, just slow, steady retrieve present an easy meal for that bass looking to feed up for the summer so that's the tip i want to share with you guys um give it a shot because i didn't have a lot of success my first years of attempting to throw weight baits and now you know i bet you i've caught you know over 100 um you know big ones on baits like this i mean everywhere from california um, mostly, uh, some in Arizona actually had 19 bikes that's so we're all throwing a big rat like this. Uh, so really it works anywhere that, that, that there's big fish and you can draw big bikes. Don't be afraid to throw it. Um, you'll be surprised. I've caught pound and a halfers on this before. Actually, I was throwing a California Delta and I caught a 12 incher on it and I actually had to weigh them in because, um, I didn't know any better. I was going for swinging for the fence all day, and that's when I found out that this is not a very good tournament bait to catch your limit, but it's a very good bait to catch your uh, kicker fish. So anyway, hopefully those tips have uh, will help you with your weight bait uh, weight baits. But uh, anyway, if you guys have any questions, comment below and I'll try to get to them as soon as I can and help answer any questions that I can answer. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one.